Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. I am Amy and I am doing a potato reset. I am in the middle of my potato reset. I'm doing a full week and I'm on day four. I wanna show you every single thing I'm eating. Um, I, just a little backstory, I have lost 60 pounds eating the starch solution and following the principles of low calorie density as well over the last couple of years. I am so in love with this way of eating. I get to eat ginormous, like literally ginormous plates of food. Uh, that are so delicious and lose weight effortlessly, eating all the carbs, potato, rice, oats, pasta, all those lo amazing things that you wanna be eating, that is what I'm eating to lose weight. But anyway, um, I'm doing a potato reset at the moment to reset my taste buds after coming back from India, where I was there for about a month for my brother's wedding, and there was not a lot of starch solution friendly stuff a lot of the time, so we had a lot of ultra processed things, and I just wanna reset my taste buds to get me back to where I was before I left. Anyway, so honestly, everything I am eating, like I said, I'm in a very excited mood this morning. I was about to film and I was about to like just bust out some moves. Um, I have a lot of energy inside today. I know you guys um, comment on my energy sometimes. Um, I do have a lot of energy inside and really that is because of this way of eating. Like honestly, two years ago, I had no energy. I was a blob on the couch. Um, and it was an effort to get up and do anything, to play with my little boy. And like, I was, that was so sad to think about it now. But now I am brimming and bursting with energy. And I can really say it is because of this way of eating. It has changed my entire world. But anyway, I'm very excited about it. I'm very in love with it. So I'm starting with two beverages. I mean, I've been up for blooming ages. It is half nine. I've been up since, well, half six, so a while. I've already had a tea and some water, but I'm having another tea and some water. Oh. So for those of you who don't know what a potato reset is, it's basically where you eat a heck a lot of potatoes. So it's basically a potato centered diet, but I'm also including non-starchy veggies, um, and a few extra little condiments and stuff. So for me, that includes soy milk, for my teas and for putting in mashed potatoes and stuff like that. So everyone's got their own version. I'm doing soy milk. Mm. And a few little condiments like a little bit of ketchup. Fat-free vegan condiments is what I would say and using them sparingly. So anyway, what on earth am I eating today? That is a great question. I also don't have a clue. Let's go and figure that out together. Mm, right, so I'll tell you what, no, no, no. I am gonna have something, but I don't know whether to have it for, oh gosh, it's so sunny. I, I'm sorry, I keep moving you around because of the sun, uh, but this is a good spot. So I, in the morning, what I like to do sometimes, if I can remember, when I'm downstairs making the kids breakfast and getting everybody for school, is I will get out and put on the counter some food that I know I'm going to want to make for myself later so that I don't forget. So I've got out for myself four tips of tomatoes. That sounds like a strange mess, but basically I'm going to do a massive tomato soup which I'm gonna enjoy with hash browns. I've got three of these cold potatoes left and they are not gonna be super delicious like that. I could warm them up, but I really want some hash browns. So I'm gonna whip some of those up in little like, little kind of hash brown patties this time, not just like a big pile of hash browns because I want them to be basically dunkable and dip in the soup. That's my strategy. So I'm gonna need onions, garlic, some stock. I might just whiz up some carrots and some celery as well in there and just do like a big lovely tomato soup. And genius me, I'm also feeding my family whilst I'm doing this potato reset. Hello, you've joined me by a little Romy. Oh, you're so snotty. Right, hold on, hold on. Sorry, she is a snot monster at the moment and she just needs to be wiped constantly. Anyway, for those of you who are new here, this is little Romy, my one-year-old. She just turned one last month. Anyway, she's very chatty. My videos are very um, loud. And I know if you guys, a lot of you guys comment on that. There's, there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. I have a loud household. I could either not film videos like this, uh, where there is a bit of noise, or not film videos. I'm gonna opt for the videos. <laughs> so I'm really sorry if you guys don't enjoy the noise, but that, that's, there's nothing I can do about it anyway. I love you. So, oh, I know what, what Romy is looking at these potatoes. And she's interested. Do you want to share some taties with me? Here, let's... Oh, there's a bit at the bottom. Oh, look at that. Um, so, anyway, I was telling you about my genius brainwave. So, um, 
There you go, my love. So obviously I'm making myself a big tomato soup, but my family is not eating just potatoes this week. They are eating a lot of potatoes with me and they're stealing a lot of my potatoes as well, especially this little thing, a little egg. Uh, but I decided to do my big pasta with my tomato sauce, basically soup thing. So, and I also, I wanted to show you what I whipped up quickly this morning. So there was literally nothing in the fridge for food. So I made a, some sandwiches with some like really super healthy rye bread stuff, but there was nothing to go in it. So I just made a quick cashew cheese for him, um, blending up cashews, water, and I'm just fermenting this batch um, with a bit of kefir. Um, and it's got loads of garlic and onion granules and nooch and stuff like that. So it'll be really tasty. Um, so but anyway, I just put that on his bread with some cucumber. But my point is I'm going to add some of that Oh, baby girl, do you want some of this? Oh, you want some more porridge? I'm gonna add some of this to their pasta sauce to like bulk it out and give them loads of extra healthy fats. Anyway, you don't want any of that, you want the more potatoes. Well, that's fair enough. Do any of you guys also translate your baby's babble into actual talk so that you feel like you're having a conversation? Because otherwise, otherwise, there's no one to chat to, is there? Apart from you guys, I love chatting to you guys. Um, anyway, so yes, I. I'm debating whether or not to do, basically, <clears throat> I need to leave in about an hour because I'm taking Romy to soft play for the first time. I've never taken her to soft play by herself before because she is a blob, but she's getting very unblobby. Um, I think she'd really enjoy the socialising and just the fun stuff. So I'm going to take her to soft play today, uh, which means I'm leaving very soon because I've booked a session. Um, so I'm trying to figure out whether I want the hash browns and tomato soup now or whether I'm going to have that for lunch. Actually, I'm going to be, yeah... Am I going to have much time after lunch? Mm. Mm, I don't have many potatoes. I always need to go shopping this today, as I mentioned yesterday. So I'm going to figure that out. Tell you what, I'll have, a, I'll have a think to myself and I'll keep you guys updated and let you know what I plan to do. But I did also want to say, I am not bored of potatoes yet. I'm sorry, this is a long intro bit. I'm not bored of potatoes yet. Still really feeling them. And I'm also feeling super lean today. My weight hasn't changed uh, for the last couple of days. It's kind of stayed where it was. I know I was going to update you on that daily, but I forgot to do that yesterday. But my weight hasn't changed uh, since I kind of lost that first initial pound. But basically, I'm feeling super lean and just like nice and flat and uh, great digestion, all that good stuff. So potatoes are incredible. Anyway, I'm going to stop chatting and I'm going to go make some food. Bye. So, I'm just cooking up my hash browns, and I do get a few questions about how I make my hash browns. So, three old cold potatoes. Just picking off the bad bits. Um, grate them up. So, obviously, in the UK, um, we cannot find, or at least I have not been able to find, oil-free bags of frozen hash browns. If I was in the States, I would most certainly be using that. I would not be grating my own potatoes. But I'm dedicated to the hash brown cause, and therefore I grate my own potatoes because I love hash browns. Anyway, grate these bad boys up, whack them in a bowl, and hold on a sec, I'm also just going to quickly grate up, uh, chop up. Oh, hold on, did I put the bad bits in here? Oh, muffins. Where are the bad bits? Oh well. Don't wanna waste the skins. Sorry. Right, whack it in a bowl. Now, super simple. We're gonna go garlic, salt, and parsley, my good old friends. I know I stick to the same seasonings a lot of the time, but if they work for you, then go for it. It doesn't matter. If you love it, that's all that matters. Now, like I did with my crispy courgettes the other day, um, I go with nooch as well to give it that kind of extra special something. Mommy, what are you up to? Uh, I'm probably gonna go for about yeah, about a quarter of a cup. My kitchen is a working disaster. We went around to a friend's house last night. You know who you are. And her house is just beautiful. She's got two kids as well. Her house is absolutely gorgeous. And it's like spotless. And I do not know how she does it. I don't have those kinds of skills. Uh, my house is mental. Everywhere has toys. Everywhere is a mess. And yeah, it's crazy. Hi, Rob. Mm. You know what? Mm. If I if I didn't have the energy to make hash browns, I would genuinely eat it like this because this turns a very cold, boring potato. Mmm, and so beautiful. Now I'm just going to squidge it down into little patties and stick it in the air fryer. I'll show you what it looks like afterwards, but it's very simple and very delicious. 
So I have a lot of things going on in the kitchen at the moment. I wanna show you what I've got. So I've got tomato soup, a massive batch. I think that's gonna last me a couple of days. So that is gonna be delicious. I am doing a recipe over on Instagram if you wanna go and check that out at some point. Um, then, oh, hold on, Robbie going down. Then I'm about, I've got hash browns in, obviously. She is very tired, but we are going out soon. I need to prioritize getting some food in, so anyway. And um, this is gonna be our lunch, basically. So, so I'm just whipping up some chocolate pudding made with sweet potatoes. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Romy is finally asleep. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's bright. I am in fish, I'm officially in love, by the way. So this is my chocolate pudding. It is absolutely incredible, guys, like incredible. I did not think the potato reset would be able to offer this, but look, look at that. Look at that chocolatey goodness. I'm gonna tell you how I made it. Um, it's very, very simple. You can probably make it yourself um, without me even telling you, but. And also I will say, there ain't no sweetener in here. I got the maple syrup out because I was very much intending to use it. And then I thought to myself, actually, maybe let's just not have the maple syrup in for the moment and I'll just see what it tastes like. Doesn't need it, yo, doesn't need it. If you have perfectly caramelized sweet potatoes, you don't need it at all. Anyway, so I'll tell you what went into here. It was two massive baked sweet potatoes and I heated them up in the microwave just to give them an extra, mm, didn't want to use them cold, so heat them up first. Then, like a third of a cup of cocoa powder, um, teaspoon of vanilla, and some splashes of soy milk just to get it going in the blender. But I'll tell you what, this is incredible. Mm. I'm in love, I'm in love. Anyway, I'm gonna have this for breakfast. Um, I think, oh no, should I have it for lunch? No, I'm gonna have it for breakfast, I'm gonna have it now. No, 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 no. I'm gonna save that for lunch. Ooh, that's gonna be tough, that's gonna be real tough. Mm. Right, I also need to clean my blender, flip my hash browns, look at them. Ooh, look at these babies, those are looking good. Anyway, um, and then I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna, I need to run out. We're leaving in half an hour. Okay, so I have just put together my breakfast and it is incredible, so incredible that my husband wanted to steal it from me. But uh, there was not enough house browns, unfortunately. Anyway, I'll show you I've got. That is my homemade tomato soup, super quick and simple, and these lovely hash browns. These are incredible, guys. I know I showed you briefly, but look at that crunch on there. Anyway, that's just for dipping purposes. And that is breakfast. Um, and then breakfast part two is my chocolate pudding that I showed you. Um, so I think I'm just gonna have these as two breakfasts instead of breakfast and lunch. And I'll have something else for lunch. Anyway, gonna go and enjoy. If you guys are on the potato reset as well, you must, 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 must try these hash browns. I kid you not, there it's a must. So just listen, listen. So crunchy. And the combination of this and the tomato soup for dunking. Mm. I mean, I'm in actual heaven here. I know I get excited about food, but this is one of the best meals. When my husband came into the kitchen before to make himself some food, he looked at my food and he was like, oh my God, is there any more? Unfortunately, there were no more hash browns, but I'm gonna make him some later. But he did take some tomato soup because it's darn delicious. Please go make these, like, please, 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 please. But also remember what I was saying yesterday about the importance of the veggies. Don't neglect the veggies, my friends. Veggies are vital. So. Um, and also make them taste yummy, like this soup. This is loaded with so many veggies. Um, carrots, celery, loads of tomatoes, obviously. So delicious. So if I had just had these hash browns, that would not have been enough. Obviously, I would have been left hungry. But with the addition of the tomato soup, perfect. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy that. I can't believe you get to have that for breakfast as a weight loss mode in the potato reset. It blows my mind. I'm so excited about it. <clears throat> So I did want to say, oh, this is going to be a good squat for me. <coughs> um, <clears throat> I know it seems like I spend a lot of my day making food, right? Firstly, there's a couple of things behind that. Firstly, it is extremely lengthy to make food with Romy, who is squeaking. I stop and start all the time and I would be able to get everything done in about an hour if I didn't have Romy. Um, go like this on my legs. Oh no, that's too much of a squat. Good exercise though. <clears throat> yeah, so if I didn't have Romy like scratching at me, I'd be able to make it so much faster. So I know that that's the first thing. But the second thing is, I am obviously at home a lot of the time, but I work nights. 
So if I had a lifestyle where I was working during the day, I would be making my food at night time. I have a lifestyle where I work at night and therefore I make my food during the morning and during the day. So I hope that makes sense, but this is totally still doable for any of you guys who have full-time jobs. Um, you just need to prioritize making your food at night time. I mean, everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. It depends how much you want this. I have decided a couple of years ago, I want this really badly and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that this lifestyle works for me because I know it is incredible and I have reaped the benefits of that. So, you know, if when, it, if when it's night time, obviously I know you're a bit knackered and stuff and you wanna lie on the couch or, or relax, but instead of doing that, you could spend about half an hour Food doesn't have to take very long, half an hour, especially if you don't have a kid on you. And go and do your food prep, go and make some food for the next day. It wouldn't take that long. It does require a little bit of effort when you would naturally be winding down and relaxing a little bit. But that is sometimes what it takes to make this work for you. So I don't stop during the day. There is not a point in my day where I go, mm, I'm just gonna sit down and relax. Now maybe that'll come at some point, but right now, it is so important to me that I am willing to do anything to make this work. So. Anyway, I just wanted to share that if you want this badly enough, you can make it work for you no matter what your lifestyle looks like. Uh, there are systems you can put in place. There's habits you can build over the time. So it's not going to be instant. It doesn't have to be instant, but you can definitely get there. So don't look at me and say, oh, she just is at home all day making food. No wonder it's so easy because I work my cheeks off at night. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to clarify that a little bit in case any of you guys were wondering. Anyway, we're literally about to run out. I've um, scooped the sweet potato chocolate pudding into a Tupperware for Romy and I to share. Anyway, I think I said that already. I'm gonna take a tea as well. So Romy and I are just playing in soft play and I am a massive kid and I will make any opportunity fun. So I've just got these little things here and I'm just kicking them. But I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic workout. I am really using my ab muscles. Anyway, we're gonna go play. how cute she is. I cannot believe how independent she is becoming. It actually blows my mind. Look at her. She's such an explorer. Oh, careful. Careful, Rams. Careful, Rams. Hey. 30 we have just finished up in soft play and we had such a lovely time i am not really that hungry i took the chocolate pudding with us and i only had a few bites romi had most of it to be honest it was very yum but really not hungry because this morning's breakfast was super yum um but i did pick up a couple of things and i'm very excited look at this a super cute little baby plate and i got a bowl and a little cup as well treated myself and i'm very excited anyway i'm gonna head home now and let's find something to eat not quite sure yet. No, oh, I do know. We're gonna have chips. Yes, we're gonna have chips. Okay, so I've got my next round of potatoes ready, guys. This is probably gonna last me a very short period of time. I bought every single sweet potato there was in the shops um, and loads of regular potatoes. And this is all I could carry with Romy on my back. And I got some courgettes for some more crispy courgettes, people. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna offload these and then I haven't had any lunch yet because Romy was asleep for ages and, um, and I had some work to do. Um, I'm also not particularly hungry, which is interesting. I feel like as the potato, thank you for pulling my hair, Romy, as the potato reset goes on, I'm getting more in tune with my hunger fullness cues and I am less hungry than I was at the beginning. The first day I ate loads of potatoes. I could have been having a hungry day, but as the time has gone on, I feel like I've eaten a little bit less. So today, I haven't really had that many in terms of actual potatoes. I didn't have loads of the chocolate. I mean, I did have a good chunk of the chocolate pudding, but not all of it. So, I mean, that's not loads. Um, so, anyway, it's an interesting observation. I'll let you know if that continues. Or I might be ravenous for dinner and eat everything in sight. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm about to head out the door. So, as soon as I'd said that, hunger struck. <laughs> Typical. Anyway, I finished my chocolate pudding. There was not much left. And I've got two regular potatoes on the go to go and pick Abe up from school. Mm. I was getting hungry, so I had whipped myself up some chips with a nice potato, but then my kids decided they also wanted to steal my chips. Are you, are you enjoying my chips? Are they nice? This is the thing as a parent. <laughs> 
as soon as you decide to eat something, they decide it looks so good. Mm. Which is why when our kids see us eating healthy stuff, big piles of broccoli, salads, loads of veggies, fruits, all those grains, it also encourages them to eat it too. Mm. They're nice, eh? So anyway, uh, I've also just made a gigantic smoothie for my kids. Spinach, banana, orange, persimmon, macadamia nuts, flax. What's that put in there? Loads of other stuff. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's for them. And I'm gonna turn the leftovers into ice cream. Stick that in the freezer. I've just got these little things. These little silicon ice cream thingies. Uh, and then tomorrow they can have that as a really special treat. And Abe loves frozen things. Um, and so he will enjoy that. And that is a great way to get some extra fruits and veggies into your kids. Romy is thoroughly enjoying her smoothie over there. So anyway, I don't have any chips here, but I'm gonna whip myself up another batch because I'm really snacky. So obviously because my kids ate my first batch of chips, I made a second batch of chips. And this time I went lemon and parsley style and they're very tasty. So that is my chips. Sorry, I'm just feeding Rob's at the moment. So you're just going to get my head. Anyway, Abe says he wants to share this batch as well. So I don't know how many I'll eat, but um, this is not dinner. I have no idea what I'm having for dinner yet, actually. Um, so I'm just, no, I'm not having pasta on my babes. I can't. Not potato. Potato and veggie. I might have potatoes and veggies. That's actually a really good idea with the tomato sauce. Genius. Anyway, Abe sorted it out, so we're good. We're good. Finally, it is dinner time. I feel like I've been wanting to eat food for like an hour, um, but the kids have been taking over and I haven't had a chance to do it. Anyway, um, as per Abe's genius suggestion, I have just swapped out the pasta for potatoes. So, I'll show you what I'm having. Oh, it's a hot plate, it's all right. So, I have got uh, probably about seven or eight little tiny potatoes just that I just heated up. Um, and I have poured the pasta sauce on the top. I have more. I'm just gonna leave it at this for now and see if I need any more. And I've got two huge tomatoes and two lovely crispy courgettes. I'm very excited about the crispy courgette portion. I put some garlic salt on and some nutritional yeast. And that is gonna be my feast tonight. And I do also have a sweet potato in the fridge if I fancy something sweet afterwards. Um, I need to do some more potato prep. I need to do some more sweet potato prep basically um, because that is my last sweet potato. I obviously have these leftover potatoes in the Instant Pot, but that's actually it. So I really don't have very much. It's amazing how fast you go through potatoes. Never realized with rice and grains and stuff, I feel like they can kind of keep going. Um, but with potatoes, you just go through them. Maybe it's because of the quantity that I'm eating as well. Anyway, I'm going to go and eat this. I know it looks pretty simple, but it's actually going to be incredibly delicious. Um, there's got a lot of flavour on and the sauce, the tomato sauce soup stuff that I had for this morning is so, so, so yummy. Everyone's just really enjoyed that um, with their pasta. So anyway, I feel like I'm kind of on the pasta crew. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll chat to you later. Okay, so I am having a little sweet potato snack. Mm, very yum, but I've got to run. So I'm about to go into a coaching call, which will be very, very exciting. I've got a lovely warm cup of tea with me right here. I just want to do a quick update for the day. So today, I feel, has been a very solid day of potatoes. I am really enjoying it. Um, and I got an extremely exciting piece of news. My mum rang me and she's like, I've got some good news for you. So I don't know if you remember, the other day I was chatting about how in America you guys are able to get Japanese sweet potatoes, Hannah sweet potatoes, all those kinds of special things. And I did get some messages from some UK people saying that they were able to find it too. I have not been able to. But my mum rang me today saying she bought some Japanese sweet potatoes online and she's bought me some as well. And so tomorrow I'm going to go around and I'm going to pick them up and I'm going to stuff my face for dinner. And you know when you eat potatoes, <laughs> you can get a variety. But having a new kind of potato is honestly the most exciting thing that could ever happen. Like ever. So that is an incredible mid-potato reset boost that I needed to see me through to the end. Anyway, couldn't be more excited. And also she's got the place that I can order them from. So I'm going to go online and I'm going to order a gigantic, outrageous amount of Japanese sweet potatoes. I mean, if I had that, I could think I could genuinely do a potato reset for like a month. Really, I could. I must say, I did try and do a potato reset 
um, a few years ago. I think I mentioned that once. Um, and I did it maybe for a week or so, but I really struggled with it. I don't know what happened. Maybe I wasn't being as creative or, I mean, I was still new to this way of eating, to be fair. So maybe my habits weren't in place yet, but I did really struggle with it. But I am finding this time round so much easier. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm going to mull it over, but the Japanese sweet potatoes will definitely help. Anyway, I'm not eating anything else this evening. Um, having my tea, doing my coaching call, got me editing, all those things. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the potato reset. If you guys are on it as well, let me know how it's going for you guys. Um, I hope I hope it's going well, and I hope um, I hope you're kind of enjoying your potatoes and you're not feeling bored by it yet. Um, you know, there's no point in doing something if you're not enjoying it. I do want everyone to enjoy their food. I am thoroughly enjoying my food uh, at the moment, and that was why I'm continuing to do it. If I got to a point where I was no longer enjoying my food and it wasn't serving me, I would not continue to do it just because you said you're going to do something. You don't have to stick it out if it doesn't make sense to do it. So you guys do you. But let me know how it's going anyway. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I know I've been rather chatty and I apologise for that. Sometimes it happens. I don't. I can't do anything about it. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow. Love you loads.